and now they're gonna be on the school <laughs> with the honking. They like to do this every day. They like to honk. I don't know why they like. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's blocking them. It don't be nothing in the road, but oh, every day someone's got a honk right there. City life. Am I right? Okay. So this segment, I want to call it tea break. Um, I'm saying that because I'm probably gonna be drinking tea or some type of beverage. I mean, the point is I should be drinking tea, but I'm. I know. I know. I can see into the future. <laughs> I can see into the future, I'm telling you, and I know now, and I know myself, and I know now, I'm probably going to forget. I'm probably going to forget. So, the point, the original point, so y'all know, is that I'm supposed to be drinking some tea, chatting it up with y'all, just kind of, you know, giving a little life updates, whatever, trying to kick you with you. Um, so yeah, it's called tea break, because, you know, drink some tea, taking a break, chatting about whatever. Um... So that being said, uh, it is. I'm gonna, we're just gonna jump into it. This is the end of the year, 2020. The roller coaster, the emotional turmoil that has been 2020. I just, I mean, if you're here, if you made it, that's a blessing because a lot of people can't say the same thing. If you made it the whole, the whole year, I mean, to this point, um, without getting COVID, that's a blessing. People can't say it. Some people can't say that. Um, if none of your family members got sick off of it, again, something to be grateful for. Something that I have to be mindful of, of myself, something that I want to um, bring into, you know, 2021 20, is to be to actively be more grateful. I think um, as I'm kind of growing as a person and learning how to um, just kind of be like a more, more grounded, balanced person, um, I've, I've learned that I, um, I don't meditate on the things i'm grateful for i may you know know that i'm grateful for a house or for clothes or for you know income or something like that but i don't necessarily sit down and really sit in it and be like wow i am grateful for this um to the point where i almost thought maybe it was kind of like it was almost like annoying for people to be like oh you should start like a gratitude log or something and i was like no i'm grateful for this but i have these problems and i would kind of dwell on the negative and i'm not saying don't dwell on the negative i'm not saying don't think about the negative i will never say that because i for one know that if something in my life is negative i'm gonna talk about it i'm gonna think it out i'm gonna think on it and talk about it until um until I can come up with a resolution or if I, or until I can feel better about it, but I'm not gonna stifle my negative feelings and let them just sit in there and ruminate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna complain. I'm gonna talk about it until I feel better. Um, but that being said, I should also have the same energy for being grateful. And I realize now that I should, and I haven't before, but I should. So that's what I wanna do, what I wanna bring forward, the energy I wanna have in 2021. I just really feel like it's so, it's so important to be grateful for the things that you have because you never know you know when it's going to be taken from you and when it's going to be a lesson specifically when it's going to when it's going to be when something is taken from you as a lesson and i'm not saying that things happen for a reason i i don't like that phrase i disagree with that phrase i think a lot of shitty things a lot of positive things can happen just because they happen it can happen just because you were somewhere at a certain time i don't necessarily think that it's all faded out fate like fated out like, i don't think things are always fate i don't think things are just destined to happen um i think that destiny when i think of destiny and i think of fate i think that people because we're people because we're humans we have free will we have the choice we have the power to choose and decide what we want to do so we have multiple paths to walk in this lifetime and we actively choose what paths we walk. I think certain paths are more more guided and more favorable. And sometimes, and it, and it takes a person willing to do the work of listening to themselves and their surroundings to, to figure out which of those paths are more guided. Um, but I don't think everyone has one linear path and they have to pick this path forever. 
and if they don't if they veer off this path then everything gets messed up or if they like they don't have to do anything they can be a super passive individual and they will get to to the to the goal of that specific path i think i think we have a choice but i think i think we have a choice i know we have i feel like we have a choice and we get to choose every day it's it's about what you're willing to accept in your life and what you're willing to let go of it plays a big part in your life and then there's and, and then so that's like the fate part of it and you know the bigger things of like capitalism and racism and stuff like that the, like bigger structural things that like like you know affects people um also comes into play so i'm not i'm not discarding that i'm not discounting that either but i think more to like a sort of like individual like personal walk and journey through life i think we get to, we choose we choose um we choose where we're going i'm saying all this to say that the end of the year is is really around the corner and it has been such a long year and i i've been feeling I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it into the universe i try to be very careful with my words because i feel like words have powers i think words are spells to a certain degree um and i think that what you like verbally say out loud and of course what you meditate on but what you verbally say out loud has a lot of power um and so i tend to be very cautious of what i say out loud um and think about what i said uh, sometimes i do just be chatting i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna hold you sometimes i just i be chatting but <laughs> um i think that uh I, I try to be careful of what i say out loud because i don't like to jinx things i don't i don't like to say something and then give somebody an opportunity to wish ill on what i've just said you know like moving in silence type whatever but i will say that that when it was 2019 coming into 2020 i just had a feeling that 2020 was not going to be a good year and everyone was saying 2020 was going to be their year and i i don't really like to kill the vibe so i was kind of you know like nodding my head going along with it but personally like personally i just i just had a feeling that 2020 was not was was not that girl i knew it i just i'm not trying to trying to be like i told you so i'm just trying to be like that that was the vibe that was the vibe i was getting so 2021 the vibe that i'm getting um is that not to say that it's going to be more of the same where it's bad but i think that 2021 is going to be a year where you really need to put your best foot forward um if there is something that you want and it, and you and you wanted it for a minute you wanted it for a while there's something that you want to achieve there's something that you're aiming for um like put your best foot forward for, for it in 2021 because i think that you will really prosper from it that's how i feel i feel like um especially with like my youtube channel um just content creating in general and like trying to transition to a new career because the job that i'm at now is just not working for me i really feel like where as i think as a whole people were thinking 2020 was going to be that year to get it together um i think 2021 is actually going to be that year if you're putting in the work if you're putting in the work and i'm and i'm saying like you but i really am talking to myself like if i put in the work i feel like 2021 is the year where i will see results but i have i have to be act i have to actively like put myself out there and that's been such a big that's been such a hard thing for me um i would say in the last couple of years just the way that life has gone um over the past couple of years i feel like i've just been getting smaller and smaller making myself smaller and smaller and smaller um and i feel just very lost and very like i don't i really just don't know what's going on like what i'm supposed to be doing what my goals are my long long term goals i'll be real with y'all um i have had mental health issues like my whole whole life and i the most that i've ever talked about it was in college when um i was writing a lot of poetry because i was a i was a literature major creative writing concentration um what am i doing with that degree
right <laughs> um yeah so i i wrote a lot of poetry and you know it was right like when you write about poetry you have to write about the stuff that's like happening in your life like like to write to be a good poet you can't just write about dandelions all the time like like you have to write about real stuff um so i um i was doing that and i was getting i was expressing a lot of how how i felt what i had been through um but yeah i i just have had a lot of mental health issues and and when I tell you I did not think that I was gonna make it like past a certain age and literally like in college the, the only thing that was kind of keeping me together was like I need to graduate and the only reason I was saying I need to graduate was for other people like like oh I need to give my mom this diploma like for like I'm earning this diploma for my mom or something like that you know I'm earning this diploma diploma for other people and I can't let other people down other people you know I'm like the first one in my household to go to college and first you know first generation American first generation college student um I need to do this for other people and that it was like I I can't I can't until so after college like I have to graduate I have to walk I have to get my cap and gown I have to graduate and then you know the mental the mental illness can have me you can do what it wants with me after that um and I mean it's been years since I graduated ew years since I graduated college oh, it's been years it's been, ooh ooh it's hitting me it's been years since I graduated college and I'm still here I'm I'm still here um so that being said I did not have a plan for the future I did not know what to I I just have not felt like I knew what to do with myself um after college and and it's like now that I'm here I have to, I'm like I'm like accepting that I'm here and I and I'm planning and I'm actively saying I plan to be here for many more years what am I going to do with myself now and I think that this has been and I feel like um that's kind of been where my my current plight in life is trying to figure out what comes next like I've you know I've I've said to myself I'm gonna be here so now what um, so I, I do want to, I'm going to pat myself on the back. I'm going to do that because I deserve it because I really was in a dark place. Um, I'm in therapy now, you know, so, um, I am working on myself, but in like trying to find like what comes next, I feel like, um, for me, it's, it's creating content. Um, it's being creative. Like, you know, that's what my major was and i need to put i need to put what i learned to use but i also know that i could, i just can't i can't do corporate corporate like super professional jobs clocking in nine to five like i can't i can't i really can't someone like expecting me to be somewhere at a certain time every day is like it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot um <laughs> um not to say that like you know content creating is like, you you have to do you know you have to do a lot more work when you're content creating and trying to sort of like make like a name for yourself through your actions but i know for me that my success is going to come through my creativity and it's going to come through the things that i do with my own hands i'm a very i'm a very hands-on person like i like i have like i have to do i have to do it i have to do something i have to write something create something i personally can't draw um i do have a little bit of like commitment issues when it comes to like crafting and artwork because if i sat down and like practice drawing every day like i would be fine with it but you know i was a gift to kids you know there's a little gift kid burnout in there and um if i can't pick something up in like 10 minutes i don't like i don't want to do it i just save it for somebody else but <laughs> but yeah if i if i really sat down and like like almost made it like an obsession to draw every day i know i would like be decent at it i know i could like at least get my points across and be doing like cool artworks because i have like i just i always have so many creative ideas for different things and so then i get i put i get myself involved in certain 
things um like i'll have phases where i get involved in like learning about tech and assembling computers i have phases where i want to like build like remodel houses and stuff like that and like like literally like tear it tear it down and build it up myself and like i like i'll spend hours like on youtube learning how to you know saw wood or something like you know like things like that like i'm a very i am very much a diy person where i just have to do it myself and i know for me that ultimately i think that's where my success is going to come for me doing something myself me being creative me being responsible for the for the for the project in itself or being part of a team um but it's it, it has to be creative i can't i can't do a regular basic job anymore um office work is just it's not that girl i'm telling you it's not that girl <laughs> um i mean it's, it's you know what i gotta do for the time being and you know maybe for a little while after because you, you know i gotta pay bills like, gotta pay bills um but yeah um you know at a point i do want to transition out of that and just work on the things that make me happy and um make me money um yeah uh <laughs> but yeah so that's that's mainly that's kind of how i'm feeling for 2021 it's just like 2021 i feel like it's a year that i have to go go out and grab it i have to go out and grab it and take what i want and and don't get discouraged i feel like i get discouraged so easily and i just have to i i just uh I have to try to not do that because I get so down and I get so in my head all the time and it just it like it's so limiting when you just like when you are the person holding yourself back it really sucks like it really is such like a drain on your spirit to be the person holding yourself back but I'm definitely taking the steps I feel like I'm taking the steps to better myself and, and develop the skills to be more disciplined as a person because I definitely don't have a lot of motivation a lot but I also don't have a lot of discipline and I think the discipline is really what I need like okay I don't I'm not motivated to do this whatever but I'm disciplined enough to do it so I'm gonna get it done I think that's something that I'm really trying to trying to focus on as I as I grow as an individual but yeah so i'm not and also i'm not really big on new year's resolutions i feel like i feel like i always set new year's resolutions and the things that i set for my resolutions are the things that i like end up not doing i don't know what it is i mean like i feel like everybody does this where they set their resolutions and they don't like continue on with it but i'm definitely like like i'm definitely like the type of person to have i don't know general vibes of what i want to do but to put it out on a list for for new year something about it just it don't be working out for me i don't know what it, i don't know what it is if i just like to go against myself on purpose but putting it specifically as a new year's resolution makes me like not want to do it so i don't know i'm about to i guess i'm gonna have to like um reverse psychology the new year's resolutions when it's when it's come, when it comes time to do it but <laughs> <laughs> but what are y'all looking forward to in 2021 you know what i'm saying like what what things are you looking forward to that you need to go out and grab that you need to take for yourself that you need to finally start putting your best foot forward in um i know like specifically for me it's definitely content creation and this youtube channel like i started it you know 2020 um and i haven't been really keeping up with it but i feel like now that i've started it i have a foundation and 2021 is where i really am going to be putting my best foot forward and then I'm, and I'm gonna be really trying to like take off with it i'm really gonna be putting in the work to put to create more content so um for y'all what what do you feel like is your big 
it, it doesn't even have to be big let me let me not say big like it doesn't have to be big what just what is it in 2021 that you want to accomplish what is it that in 2021 you feel like you're gonna start seeing the fruit of, fruits of your labor you know what i'm saying um i definitely would love to hear it. i will be in the comments reading it up um yeah because i just think i don't know it's so for me it's it's so important to to set goals now to set to to set goals in that i'm following up on things that i've done in the past or i've looked into in the past whatever um and to kind of like reassess myself reassess where i'm at and say this is what i've done this these were my interests this is why i was trying to achieve those things what can i do now to achieve those things yeah but that's that's my little tea break me just i don't know thinking about 2021 the vibe i'm getting from 2021 um what vibes are you getting from 2021 do y'all feel the same way do y'all think um nah, i'm crazy 2021 is about to be just as ass as 2020 if that's how you feel that's how you feel maybe that's maybe your path in life is that 2020 was trash and 2020 and 2021 is trash let me know i hope it's not trash i'm hoping for you that it is um a positive year <laughs> but if it's if it's trash you know it's trash things don't say trash forever that's one thing that's one thing that i think i'm really like understanding i'm really understanding in life is that things don't stay trash forever there are the good and the bad and they both coexist like they have to coexist but yeah okay i i don't know if this video made any sense this is my first go at it um but yeah 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 um hopefully this is a once a week thing and so that so i can check in with y'all um like what two more times before the end of the year i hope y'all enjoyed this video check out the others on my channel um hope you like them stay a while but until next time peace